What's going on guys, it's Amanda. Today I'm back with a round two of my Mac tips and tricks. That video got so many views and likes. Thank you guys so much for the support, but I wanted to bring it back and even better this time around. So if you're in your Mac on Safari, see these little double squares? If you click that, it's gonna open up a page that allows you to close open browsers on Safari on another device. So if they're both signed into this same iTunes account, you can sit there and click this little X one of them I accidentally clicked on just because I'm looking through my camera here, but click that little X and you can see on my phone, even though it's not in focus, in real time, it is closing those down. So say you have something like a proposal you're preparing or you're shopping for a ring for your fiance or something, you definitely don't want that surprise spoiled. So you can use this tip to shut down those browsers and keep your surprise still a surprise. So in the last video, several of you guys had some great comments and a few of you wanted to see an ad blocker. So today I have teamed up with Stop Ad. So Stop Ad works in most of your main browsers and a few of them are coming in an update, but here is their interface. It's really simple to use and here's a quick demo. I've opened up a web page and you see off to the right, the numbers are just jumping up and I also am testing it out with YouTube and you can see the videos, these are in trending, so those are definitely gonna have ads, but those are being blocked as well. If you guys would like a free one month trial, check out the link in the description. It's gonna take you over to their listing on Product Hunt. They made it to number one on the first day. There's a link over to the right or you can check out their free lightweight iOS or Android version. So for the third tip, we are gonna be in notes. Now pretend this was something more formal than a grocery list, but here if you select all the text and highlight it, drag it to where you want, then you can right click and go down to transformations and you can make it all uppercase and it instantly does it all without you having to retype it. Or you can make it all lowercase, or if you would like, you can go back and capitalize and it'll capitalize the first letter of each word. Okay, again, in notes, say you're saving your passwords or something that you shouldn't be doing in your notes and you need to lock it with a pin, you can right click on the note itself and add a password, ask you for a password hint, and then it gives you this pop-up and you can stop that and read it if you guys would like. But from there, your list is gonna remain open until it times out or you can manually go up and click this lock button and it'll close all lock notes and you can see it used to show um, the notes but now it's completely gone until you go in and enter the password and now you just have a safe space for some of your notes. So the next tip has to do with copy and paste. Normally you would go in and copy what you would like and you hit command C to copy and then you'd go in and I'm just gonna use notes again for simplicity, but say you're sending an email, you'd hit command V and it copied it just as it saw it on that web page. So things like bold fonts or large print or um, the little diagrams are inserted in there, but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want it to all mesh up. So if you go in and you hit shift, option command V, it's gonna paste it in plain text. So no more of those awkward emails where you obviously have copied and pasted something because it doesn't fit in with the type and font and size of your rest of your email. Okay, so this next tip is for MacBook with touch bar users. So normally when you would adjust the volume, you go in and you tap and you slide up and down on the slider. Same goes with your brightness. But what if you want it to be just like on your keyboard, just that tap, tap, tap up or tap, tap, tap down. Well, you can go into your settings and keyboard and right here under touch bar shows, there's different options here. So expanded control strip is what I have selected or you can go back anytime and have the slider again. Now, if you watch, it goes pretty fast for the volume, but if you hold shift option and your volume up and down, tap, 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 tap now, it goes in quarter increments. And that just gives you a finer control so the volume doesn't go up real fast or down real fast. You can get it exactly at the right level. If you wanna make sure you always have your devices backed up, you can go into your iTunes while it's plugged in and make sure this is selected sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. And what that's gonna do is you can unplug your device and from now on, you can always make sure your device is backed up. So if you're traveling or taking a lot of photos, you're not gonna have any chance of losing those. You can see it's unplugged and backing up in the background. Okay, so the next one is if you have a MacBook and you need a secondary display and you have an iPad sitting around, you can get Duet Display, which will mirror or you can fine tune how you use that second display however you want. 
So to set this up on your iPad, you're gonna head to the App Store, and right now it's $9.99 for Duet Display. You're gonna download it, and then on the MacBook, you're gonna have to go to their website, and it's free to download their Mac software. So then you're gonna to have to take your devices, and they will have to be hardwired at all times to transfer all the information, and it's very smooth and nice. They keep it very updated, but you will have to have the appropriate cable to make sure you can connect your MacBook to your iPad. Okay, so the next one is the menu bar. I didn't even know you could do this, but you can hide it just like you do your dock where it automatically hides whenever it's not in use. Gives you a little more real estate, but you go into settings in general, you can click this automatically hide show menu bar. Not only that, just above it, again, I don't even know that I knew this, you can do use dark menu and dock. So there you can see the dock is dark, turn it off, it goes back, it is kind of a gray, white color, light colored anyways and back to dark. Normally if you have something, you are going to select it and drag it down to your trash to delete it. Well, there's a much faster way. If you just select the item and hit Command V, jump, select the next one, Command V, it automatically places those items in your trash can. All right guys, I am running out of time here. I have so many more tips. If you guys would like to see more of this, please leave a comment down below letting me know. Also, if you have a favorite tip, leave it down below and maybe it will get featured in the next video. As always, thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.